Hi guys, right, so, uh, part two of the video, I guess. Um, right, uh, obviously I made a little bit of a mistake yesterday and I put it up to five, um, but I've counted how long that I did that for and whereabouts on the track, so I'll completely replicate it anyway. So hopefully we should still get um, a relatively good uh, result anyway. So on my clock today, um, I'm gonna have to swap over this uh, camera because um, me using the front facing camera, um, I wasn't able to pick up the screen because I couldn't see what I was doing essentially. Anyway, so let's flip over if we can to the other camera. No, I can't do that apparently while I'm live. Okay, so um, I don't know if we can see this again. Hopefully you can. So, um, you should see that we've got 80% left on the battery and we're currently sitting at 141.3 miles so um yeah so hopefully um we've got a good reading today but i'm i'm doing exactly the same route so um you know our results should be pretty um similar you know um <clears throat> give or take a few yards or whatever but um um yeah so hopefully today i've reduced the tires down to uh, 10 psi each um see the photo wherever i'm gonna put it i don't know um there 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 ooh, somewhere um but yeah anyway so i'm riding on 10 psi today and uh we'll see what the battery is like when we get back from the same journey catch you soon <clears throat> right, so um, what I will say, um, obviously taking 10 PSI out of the uh, tyres has um, has made the ride a little bit more comfortable, obviously. Um, so a lot of the bumps, etc., being absorbed by the by the tyre even further. And well. What well, another glorious day in the United Kingdom in September. It's pretty much unheard of. Still a bit hazy today. You still can't, can't quite see Dundoness Power Station. It's out over there somewhere, but um, yeah, we just can't see it from here. But I'm not complaining because it's absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know whether you can see all these boards all the way along here. And that's because, well, that's because the rich people want to build flats, luxury apartment flats that nobody in this area can afford and uh, destroy what was a beautiful landscape behind there. And, uh, yeah all for all for the rich all for the rich people um and they've they're going to ruin completely ruin the landscape that's behind there um which literally hundreds of thousands of people enjoy year in year out but no you know the rich come first obviously and their needs so um yeah Am I hoping this water over here rises a little bit over the next few years, floods over there? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Because I think it would just be their just desserts to destroy part of our landscape that so many local people have enjoyed for like a hundred years or more. You know. <clears throat> and all because of development. development my ass but there we go that's my rant for this morning maybe I'll have another one but uh, who knows 
But what a glorious day. I shouldn't be ranting at all. It's absolutely a beautiful day. But strangely, not so many people on the beach today. I wonder why. In actual fact, it's in some ways it's hotter than yesterday. So, uh, yeah. But uh, hopefully I won't rant and uh, twaddle on too much for this video because uh, obviously I have to realise that uh, my GoPro battery doesn't last forever and if I waffle on too long it'll die on me so um, let's continue on our journey and I'll catch up with you guys shortly on we go uh, once again obviously as we said yesterday we're going to follow exactly the same route So everything, mileage, all that, everything should be the same. So yeah, um, it definitely feels more comfortable to ride with the, uh, just feels a lot springier, to be honest. So if comfort is more your thing, then obviously, you know, you can let some air out of those tires and you should be all right. But we'll see what the battery life is like after doing the exact same distance on properly inflated tires. Just so, um, just so people are aware of, you know, what the difference can, what the, a small difference can make. Because I do hear a lot of people complaining, ah, oh, my bike doesn't go this far. And then when you ask them how much air, they, some people don't even put, they've just got their bike, they haven't even put any air in the tyres. I'm not saying everybody's like that, but we do have a few people, you know, and you gotta love those people. Because they bought a bike without any knowledge or, you know. But anyway, am I having a rant again? No. We should uh, maybe go on the uh, little railway one day that's uh, positioned there and uh, see if we can get our bike on there. to uh, shut the camera off for a second because uh, yeah I don't want to uh, waffle on for too long and drain the battery so let's go and I'll catch you guys in a minute well uh, okay so we're um, along the canal by West Hive again as we did on our last test yesterday we've got my canal over to the left 
which you can't see because it's over this bank and I'm not allowed to ride on there because um, it's meant for dog walkers only apparently so cyclists don't get to uh, to ride there and then instead but the dog walkers come along here and they let their dogs off the lead and run all over the place so um, it seems us cyclists bikers we lose out no matter what um, but anyway we've got Portland Zoo over to your right hand side I don't know if there'll be any animals out today but we'll see one thing I have noticed already um, so obviously I've taken 10 PSI out both tyres um, I do feel a little bit more resistance on the pedals um, I don't know if it's a placebo effect but um, yeah, to me it definitely feels like I'm having to uh, to push harder to sort of keep the same similar speeds up all the time. Anyway, well, another beautiful day. So let's go. Right, we just uh, crossed the road that we uh, turned into yesterday. Which carries on this uh, very nice cycle path. Dog walking path. So, um, hopefully, Today the tree uh, cutters, um, hopefully we won't be getting in their way because um, I literally just heard them over the other side of the canal. So unless they've got two rigs out today, um, I don't think we're going to um, disturb them. However, we're still going to continue the same route as I did yesterday because otherwise how are we going to know if there's a difference to the battery? With over the same journey. Anyway, I'm in fear of talking too much again and probably waffling about nothing. So, um, I'll catch you guys in a minute. So what have we got ahead? Uh, maybe we have got more tree cutting going on today. Yeah. Maybe they're obviously uh, working on both sides of the canal. I don't know if I can actually get past. Can I? Am I alright to get past guys? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, like, yeah. Alright, cheers. <laughs> Sorry. No worries, man, thanks. I thought you was on the other side of the river, I just had. I thought there was another cutter. Is there not? They're ploughing the fields or something. Oh, well, they are yeah. right. Oh, because I thought, oh, I'll come along this way. Maybe you've like moved up or gone to the other side. <laughs> All right, cheers, fella. That was it. Thanks a lot. Ah, yeah. oh, well, I didn't really mean to stop them, but uh, there we go. They seemed uh, happy enough and not too overworked, which is always a good sign, especially when it's so hot. Right, so uh, we're on the uh, the run up to sort of like the halfway mark as such, or the point where we stop and turn around. Well. I say that, it's a little bit further up this way, so uh, we need to keep going. 
and then we'll get there. So uh, here we are again at our turnstile, <sighs> which there's no way I'm lifting that bike over there. So we're on 151.3 miles. Um, I can see we've got 65% of the battery at the moment. So. Um, we're a little bit under halfway because uh, once we go back out that way and uh, back out onto the road, we have to sort of do a circle round. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't take the uh, the reading yesterday on this at the halfway mark, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get back. Anyway. Um, I think again what we'll do we'll turn around and uh, we'll head back to the canal and the same spot we did yesterday and uh, we'll have a bite to eat and then carry on our journey so uh, we'll see you in a little while all right so um, here we are again same spot that, uh, that we stopped at yesterday so I'm gonna have a little bit of a rest and uh, have a bite to eat and then we'll uh, head back on our journey uh, on the exact same route as we did yesterday okay don't go away now right. so whew. man it's really hot so uh, I've got my lunch again today Mr. Exciting got my coronation chicken pre-made sandwich from St. Breeds I have a funky Ribena and the inner child in me wanted some monster munch today to uh, release my inner monster so, uh, yeah I'm going to have my lunch just chill for a little bit and, uh, and then we'll be back catch you in a bit right so uh, I'm about ready to uh, take the journey back. I'm all fed and uh, watered, so um, as always. Take your rubbish with you. Don't leave it in the countryside. There you go. How long did it take to put that into my bag? It'll take me another five seconds to put it in a bin. It's hardly a, uh, a big wedge out of my life that I'm never going to get back or anything. <laughs> and who cares? We're saving the environment, right? Right, so, uh, yeah. As again, we'll, uh, we're going to take the road and we're going to go out yeah. and do a circle until we come back on the trail again because I don't want to disturb these guys even though it's their last day um, they're busy hard at it and they can't you know if they've got to stop every five minutes to let someone pass pardon me I'm sure it's quite aggravating for them um, even though they were nice as pie about everything but uh, yeah even still so uh, anyway I don't want to mess up the test um, also um, on day one when I met the, uh, came across the four guys on the bikes, um, I was compelled somehow in my inner child to whack it up to five. Because <laughs> I told them I was uh, on low power mode. Um, so I rewatched that video um, and I counted in my head what I seemed to think was 18 seconds um, on pedal assist five. Um, and I got it up to 28, 29 miles an hour. So um, I'm going to replicate that exactly so that we're scientifically accurate. Um, obviously, we're not scientifically accurate. Um, it could never be in 
two different days. Um, there was about a 10 or a 15 mile breeze along the coast um, when I heading into me when I went back yesterday. I don't know if that's going to be the case again today. It sort of feels a bit more still, but um, I won't know until we sort of get further into it. Uh, towards the coast anyway so uh, that again my, may have some effect on our uh, final battery results but um, I mean this is something that you can do at home anyway um, you can most definitely um, you know go out one day pop your tyres up onto uh, you know if you're riding on tarmac or or just loose gravel um, no sorry uh, compacted gravel roads whatever you know um, do the same journey twice yourself um, and, and you'll be able to see, but you know, um, follow us to the end and uh, you'll be able to see the results. Right, so uh, I'm all packed up, just need to, uh, <laughs> I've got this on my back and I've still got to pack the uh, camera and the tripod, so uh, I'll take this off again and we'll head back out to the road and continue on. See you in a minute. Well, I don't know what it is about the uh, Ranger. But it definitely does seem to be a bit of a mozzie magnet. I don't know if you can see them. Oh my god. You probably can't see them very well in this daylight, but uh, they're everywhere. We'll do the same as we did yesterday. Walk this back to the road, and then we'll be on our merry way. Yes. No, I've uh, no idea. Is it meant to be along the canal, is it? Yeah. Well, we don't know whether we've gone too far or whether it's up there. I think it's probably along that way. Is it along here? I would have thought so. There's not much beyond sort of here. It sort of peters out a little bit, um, you know, but I think there's, there's more stuff up that way. I couldn't be, I'm not 100% sure. You might want to, actually, you might want to ask those gentlemen um, that are cutting the trees, they may, they may know a bit more. Thank you. <sighs> Unit one cafe. All right, let's power this baby on. All right, and we'll get it going. Oh. Well, I think uh, we probably might have the same breeze. It sort of feels very reminiscent of yesterday after I'd, uh, I'd stopped. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of contributing factors to uh, distance and, you know, how everybody's gonna get. Um, just so people are aware, I weigh 10 and a half stone. Um, I have no idea what that is in kilograms or pounds. I'll probably put it somewhere here. Um, but, uh, excuse me, oh, fly down the back of the throat. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, I'm quite a lightweight guy. Um, so some of you heavier guys, you know, I mean, don't expect the same results. Um, you know, and, and also if you're, um, I mean, even if you're a light guy and you've got a rack and you've got, you know, a couple of power banks on the back and, and various other laden up. I mean, the bike's got a, pay, a maximum payload of 150. So, uh, um, I'm not really carrying an awful lot more. Um, I've got a lightweight uh, tripod, I had my lunch, you know, so, I mean, we're not even talking a kilogram um, of weight. I don't think that I'm carrying even with the weight of my rucksack, to be honest. 
Um, but if you want to add that on to my weight, that, you know, obviously we should do. Um, I've carried exactly the same on both days, so... Uh, Right, anyway, I don't want to waffle on for too long and run this battery flat again, so uh, maybe I'll see you when we get to the, uh, where, where I need to speed up. Anyway, catch you guys in a bit. On we go. I mean, it's still really hazy today. Portland Zoo and that's the um, big manor house up there so as you can see it stretches all the way across there and all the way over there I don't know if you can see I've got my camera on my chest so uh, but uh, yeah if you're ever in uh, if zoos are your thing it's probably one of the nicest ones for the animals They've got a bit more room than most. Right, enough waffling. Onwards and upwards. Well, it seems that uh, I just passed Unit 1, which was just over there. Um, Unit 1 Cafe, so uh, thankfully I did tell those ladies the right information. Ah. I didn't know there was a cafe there before. I don't know how many times I've driven out this way. Right, so... Uh, we're approaching the uh, the spot where I uh, went to pedal assist five to the count of 18. And I got myself up to 29 miles an hour. So let's do the same again. On our marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Woo. That is exhilarating. Right. We are still on pedal assist one now. That's good. Right, I'm going to switch the camera off because we've done that little stretch that I had to replicate from yesterday. So, hopefully, I'll switch the camera on when we're back near the sea. Let's go, and I'll catch you soon. Well, we're back at the beach again. I think we've got a similar breeze to uh, yesterday. Maybe a little bit less, but uh, hopefully it should sort of keep our results quite similar. Shame again, it's quite hazy, because uh, you can barely see Folkestone. <laughs> ahead anyway it's probably going to get a little bit uh, or probably already too breezy and you probably can't already hear me so um, we'll push on and I'll catch you guys in a bit
Well, I think uh, we've only got a few more days of this uh, lovely weather coming. So, my guess is that all the way along here, this weekend, is going to be crazy. So, perhaps it's time to go on a little camping trip and we'll take one of our uh, Cyrusher e-bikes but yeah if you're ever in the southeast Folkestone Hive area oh man there's some beautiful places to explore and further inland obviously But yeah, and then obviously we do have a couple of sandy beaches. There's one down there uh, in the Folkestone Harbour. Um, unfortunately, it's all pedal pebbles for most of the way. However, if you go about, where are we now? Probably about 20 miles back, 25 miles back. There's a place called Canberra Sands. That's where I often take the fat bikes. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine most of these people are retired at the moment. or mums and dads enjoying their kids back at school. Anyhow. Let's carry on. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so we're uh, on the last leg of our journey. So um, probably about a mile to do, and then we'll be there. So um, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road, and then we can take a look at the results. Hopefully the GoPro's gonna last out the duration, but uh, you never know. And um, we're gonna have to navigate the uh, the weavers who go all over the place. Coming up on your right. <laughs> but yeah, see look. Everyone rushing out to enjoy the last bits of the weather. Because why not? Sorry, I almost went Google-eyed then. It's amazing what you see on the beach. Okay, so back from whence we came.
Okay, so uh, we're almost where we started today and yesterday. We followed the exact same route on both days, haven't faltered. Right, at this signpost here. We are done. Right. Okay. So, what are we reading today? 32% on the battery. Right, so uh, I've got back um, to the exact same spot, to this sign here. Um, and uh, on the Ranger it's sort of skipping between um, 32 and 33% left on the battery um, yesterday it was skipping between 37 and 36 um, we've taken exactly the same route um, the only difference being um, that I let out 10 PSI in both tyres um, for a bit of comfort um, I'll do all the workings out and see how far that we came because um, I can't quite remember I'm going to have to refer back to the other video to uh, to, re to think how far we've come today but yeah both batteries were charged to 80% um, obviously um, and uh, we've taken exactly the same route the only thing different today I would say that the breeze has probably been a little bit lighter than yesterday but you know apart from that it's been absolutely um, pretty much in the same ballpark so um, well probably about another five miles an hour stronger yesterday coming back um, whether that I don't know how much that equates to I mean you know they're, they're <laughs> I don't think there's any definitive way that you can measure this really to be honest with you uh, but as I said you know try this out at home um, you know try this out pick a route that you're familiar with um, stick with it you know try use the same gear ratios um, you know mess around with your tire pressures you will notice a difference um, you know um, obviously four percent four or five percent today um, you know if that's the difference of getting you home from your journey um, you know with or without electric, then it might be something to consider. Um, anyway, I think that's done this one for now. Um, we'll continue on with tire pressures because we're gonna go and head to the beach and ride this baby on the beach. And uh, we'll talk about all the air pressures that you need while riding on the sand, okay? Until the next time, stay safe, catch you soon, bye.